conversation starts now. Good morning, I'm Liza Fromer along with Jeff MacArthur. Hope you're all having a great Canada Day. We're taking a look back at some of our favorite guests today, starting with the man best known as the easygoing bartender, Sam Malone, on the hit TV series Cheers. But what you may not know about Ted Danson is that he's one of the world's leading ocean conservationists and the narrator of the documentary Oceana, protecting the world's oceans. Take a look. And local fishermen, whose catch fed their families for generations, are driven out of business because there aren't enough fish left to catch. Not only are too many fish taken out of the oceans, those that remain are being poisoned by toxins like mercury. Show. Yeah. <laughs> here he is right here, uh, Ted, Danson. Ted Danson. We always like to welcome guests with footage from like 30 years ago. Yeah. yeah, that's why I keep working so that people on the street who might have seen a, like a rerun don't look at me and go, oh my God, you look like crap. <laughs> <laughs> so stay in front of the camera. That's yeah. my <laughs> So what got you interested in this uh, particular cause? Uh, I've been doing this for 25 years and I, I I was walking with my kids who were eight and four on the beach in Santa Monica and there's a sign, water, you know, ocean closed, water polluted. And it was like, wait, what? And I couldn't answer the questions on why. And I, one thing led to another and I was part of uh, founding a, an organization, a small ocean advocacy group that later merged into Oceana, which is where I am now on the board of directors. And it's the world's largest single focus ocean group in the world. I'm really interested in this uh, because, you know, I think kids, they have such an effect on us uh, and they'll say something to you, but most people just had kind of kind of let it pass, go away. Why is it that you got so involved and so passionate? I, you know, I just, I find it a, a fascinating conversation. It's one of those huge environmental disasters in the making that we can fix and are. Um, I love going to the ocean. I grew up in Arizona, so I became passionate about you know, jumping in the water. Um, and it's just, I've been surrounded by these incredibly bright scientists and lawyers and advocates mm -hmm. for so long that I just, uh, I'm just fascinated by the conversation. And, and obviously with your profile, you had a voice, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, I am, I'm not an expert. I am, you know, I'm the guy who stands in front of the tent and says, thank you for watching Cheers. I want you to meet this incredibly bright marine biologist who has something important to say. Mm -hmm. And the conversation has changed recently, because now if you talk about fish, you can put people to sleep like mm -hmm. that. But if you talk about feeding the world, all of a sudden you get people's attention. And it's mm -hmm. the truth, because fish is the perfect protein. You don't use any fresh water to make it. You don't cut down a rainforest to grow something to feed it. Mm -hmm. So in this ever-expanding planet of ours, feeding people is going to be huge. So making sure that our fisheries are healthy and fully recovered becomes amazingly important. Right, when you make it uh, an issue that's more in someone's own backyard, yes. in some way, yeah. then yeah. it resonates more. Yeah. And you are opening an office here, uh, Oceana Canada. Uh, is opening an office here in Toronto, so uh, we're here to support that as well. Well, that's great news that that's yeah. happening. Um, let's talk just a little bit about your career and cheers. I can't really imagine how you begin to wrap your head around that success when it first hits. Did it hit fast or was it sort of a, something that was drawn out? Uh, yeah, it took off. Well, no, it took us about two or three years, I think, to become huge and all of that. But uh, I think we were so spoiled. You're, you're in your 30s and you think, oh, this is what happens when you're on TV. Right. You know, right. And then you later, as you get older, realize, no, <laughs> you were very <laughs> lucky, and this is kind of rare. Yeah, lightning yeah. struck, right? Yeah. And, yeah. I mean, you're still, as you mentioned, in series TV today doing television, and sometimes they, they don't give a series a chance to kind of find its feet like they did Cheers, as you mentioned, right. a couple seasons. Right, right, right. We used to say that NBC and Brandon Tardigat, they were geniuses to keep us around, but we later heard the truth is they had nothing to replace us with, or, the, or they would have <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> We just had nothing better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, one of the shows uh, that you were on that was one of my favorites was Bored to Death. Oh, I love Bored to Death. It's yeah. so funny. Come I wish on. it was still around. To be in your 60s and get to smoke dope and... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what a great Come character. On. Yeah, it was a great and character. And then Zach Galifianakis and Jason, Jason Schwartzman, Schwartzman. Oh, please. The best. Well, yeah. How many seasons did there? We did three years, three seasons. Yeah, yeah. 
Now that's making me nostalgic. I'm going to go find that somewhere and watch yeah, it later yeah, today, I yeah, think. Yeah, it is. It was what, very funny. Do you have a favorite? I mean, Cheers obviously had such a huge impact. You know, I just, sorry, this I'm plugging terribly myself, but I just uh, completed a season of Fargo. Have you seen that? Mm -hmm. the, the, I've heard it's amazing. Uh, it's wonderful yeah. writing. So once again, I was lucky to be around great writing. And CSI. CSI coming back. They're gonna. Well, they're gonna do a. a it's all very complicated. Uh, yeah, we're gonna going do a two-hour wrap-up of the original CSI. They're gonna bring back all the original cast people and gonna do that. And then I'm gonna slide over and do CSI Cyber for uh, I think about 13 episodes. So they're bringing, I'm sorry, back the cast from all of the CSIs? Uh, uh, well, I think they're going to bring, bring back Billy Peterson and uh, Mark Helgenberger, the yeah. original people on, the, on CSI. Yeah. That's incredible. Yes. Why do you want to still be so busy? Like I said, because I don't want people to come up and go, wow, <laughs> you got really old. What happened? What happened? <laughs> we just have about a minute left. So uh, just tell people a little bit more about how they can help support your cause should they be Great. interested. Great, and it's, it's, it's now, it, this is a Canadian charity. It's Oceana.ca, so check it out. And uh, it'll be staffed by Canadians and funded by Canadians, so this is not America coming in and right. doing it. And this is research about keeping the it's oceans clean? It's about fisheries. It's about fisheries. That's the most important thing that you can focus on. To make your fisheries healthy, you have to do all those other things. You have to deal with pollution and, and all of that. But it's really about making sure that we do not overfish our oceans. And Canada's done a great job, because in the 80s, we were all overfishing like mad, but that's stopped. You also have some of the best scientists, marine scientists in the world here in Canada. So you're in a position to really make a difference and make our fisheries well, come back. Listen, you are certainly making a difference, uh, Ted Danson, and uh, would it be tried to say uh, cheers? Thank no, you. No, no. Okay. <laughs> or, uh, CSI or <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Ted Danson, thank, thank you, you nice so talking. much.